and the hard thing right now is dealing with comic, uh, comic professionals. If, uh, if you're on Twitter, you've noticed a lot of them are really attacking independent creators like myself, independent creators like, uh, like you know, our guys here on the books like this, um, and other people just outside of the, the mainstream comics like DC and Marvel, and the other big five, you know, uh, calling us pieces of crap, basically, calling customers, calling people that pay their wages, pay their income, just horrible, horrible things right now on Twitter. And it's, I think they don't know how to deal with not being paid. They don't know how to deal with isolation. And so they're out there basically doing that sort of stuff. But so it's hard trying to be positive in this time uh, when people that should be positive, I, you know, about the business because comic books is done. Mainstream comic books is done. Direct to market comic books is done. And I knew it was coming because this is, this is coming has been coming for the last five years, but five years mainly, but a bit longer than that. Um, so that you know, like I said, they're all trying to um, get on to Twitter to try to get money. But while well, trying to do that, but they're trying to rubbish everybody else that's outside of them. So they don't they're not really finding it easy to deal with um, um, with their customers. Marvel saying, well, go to the curbside around the world and pick up your comics. You know, comic shops around the world are open, but they're not. Comic shops aren't open. Diamond's not delivering, so how can comic book shops be open? This is your message to the comic shop things. Why not say go online and buy digital comics? Why not buy comics and order them and then wait? Once this is over, then you can go get them from the other thing. So you're not actually holding on to that cash, but you're still supporting the creators right now. But Marvel doesn't want to do that. Marvel's like, get out of your house, go and buy comics when there's when you're on lockdown. So they don't really understand what the world's going through right now. I mean, the entire New Zealand's locked down, right? So all the necessities are only open, essentials are open, everybody else is closed. So their message to everybody else is get out of your house. Uh, that's not going to work when the, people, the one single company is delivering it. All these comics isn't delivering. So it isn't delivering for the next couple of months. So anyway, I don't want to be negative here because I'm trying to get as positive, but that's where it's happening. So get online, support your comic shops, your local comic shops, put the orders still in that you're going to put the orders in, uh, buy digital if you're buying digital through them, uh, you know, they have codes and stuff. Go online to our, our store online, right? Uh, get our book through Amazon, get, uh, get our books through Kindle and drive through because, hey, we still got to be coming out of this. Uh, somewhere down the line, right, when we do, and hopefully we come out really well, and we don't want to come in a, a negative, financial negative, where we have to edge close shop, because that's not what we want to do, you know, it's kind of important to just keep supporting who you need to be supporting in the industry, and tell you what, man, I'm done with Marvel Comics, this sort of behavior is just rubbish, you know, uh, with, their, with their creators, just... The, the words you're using is horrible. You know, they started um, really going out there, and I don't even want to mention what the words they've said. You know, attacking customers, attacking other creators outside of the industry. So yeah, I'm done with um, with Marvel Comics, and um, hopefully, you know, the, um, the indie, indie comics industry will be the one that saves the comics industry coming forth, going forth, and yeah. And hopefully we'll be stronger for it.